Anything you noticed differently, Coach, after last week in Tulane and this week during practice that lead to think that this is something like this would happen? Um, no, not really. You know, the kids, uh, you know, practice hard every week, and you know, when you lose a game and, and adverse situations on the road like that, sometimes it brings you together. And uh, you know, I'm proud of the kids the way the, the effort they gave, the commitment they made to each other. Was it important not just to get the win, but to get a win in this fashion? lighten up the scoreboard and that kind of thing in terms of the confidence of your team? Well, um, I thought that there was a lot of good things. I mean, it was, it was definitely a team uh, a team game. Uh, all the special team scores and defensive scores. Uh, I thought Garrett did some good things. Uh, some things he, you know, he'd like to have back, I'm sure. But at the same time, he was very competitive and, and, and got the job done. You get three takeaways on special teams. Is there a game ball for Frank Gans tonight? <laughs> well, we've been uh, certainly we work hard on special teams, probably harder than most teams uh, uh, around. And Frank does does a great job. Seems like a lot of things got going on offense today that's been struggling throughout the season. Like Darius Johnson, for example, being over 102 touchdowns. How good was that to see in this game? Well, I was I was happy for him. There was a lot of NFL people here watching, specifically him, and so I think he helped himself there. But I'm just glad that. Uh, that he uh, was healthy and able to play today. Did he know that, that the scouts were there? Oh, I'm sure he does, yeah. Gene Garrett said he couldn't remember the last time he had four touchdowns in a game. What would you see differently from him tonight than the rest of the season? Well, in the, in the, at the first of the game, he was seeing things, and he stood in there, and, and uh, he, he uh, did things. We had some breakdowns on, on some pass pro. I mean, they, they overloaded us on – oops, sorry about that. I don't know who that was. They uh, overloaded, uh, overloaded us on some uh, uh, dog situations, but uh, and he flushed out and made some plays, which which uh, quarterbacks have to do. Uh, you see Roethlisberger do it. You see uh, you know a lot of guys doing that all the time, and I was glad to see that Garrett had the ability to do that. Do you that. feel like he had a different look tonight than he has the rest of the season? Um, yeah, I did. Okay. I, I thought that that uh, they they were dogging us. We picked them up. He saw the coverage and and uh, delivered the ball. Was, was today as good as you saw uh, Gilbert play since he's been here? I thought the first half was, yeah. Considering some of the numbers that your teams have put up through the years and also the history of some of the offensive numbers put up at SMU, what does it mean to you personally to break the school record for points in a game? Well, um, I mean, it was pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, like I said, it, it was not uncommon that we might get 70 uh, many times uh, at other places I've been. But at the same time, it was... Uh, uh, not the feeling of offense scoring 70. It was a, a team deal, uh, and you know I think 45 points of it was special teams and defense, and that's pretty exciting uh, because we've been talking about it and we we've been uh, trying to just like I told the kids uh, in the pregame. I said you know if you take the football away, I mean it, it's not going to change, and you're going to win the game. And so they did, and they believe in it, and they. Make it happen. Definitely improvement on third down. Uh, just eight of fifteen in the game. Anything yeah, I, th I thought again, Garrett. Uh, that was because of Garrett seeing things and delivering the ball when we had to have it uh, done. And, and uh, you know, Zach ran hard on a couple of those third downs too. Even though we didn't block, he ran over a guy and got the first down. <laughs> as far as the conference is concerned, how important was this win for this team going forward? Well, it, it was a must. I mean, our goal is to get to Hawaii and. Uh, you know, uh, we we said it in the meeting last night that we had to win this game. It was a must win for us, and we got it. We, we won it. So now we go to the next one. In record fashion, you got it too, though. Yeah, we did. It was. Uh, I mean, that's nothing else. You get your name in the books with that 72. Uh, that's that's pretty pretty awesome for the kids. You and Coach Mason talked during the week about how potent the Houston offense is. And you did give up some points and some yards, but you also got three touchdowns from your defense. At first glance, how would you evaluate your defense's performance today? Well, we, we, we you know, we, we didn't uh, contain some certain catches, you know, where, where we're supposed to be outside in and they got down the sideline a couple of things. But, you know, again, when you play the game, if you take the football away, you're going to win. It doesn't matter what the stats are. If you take the football away, you're going to win the game. Garrett said that he thought the offense was more aggressive early in the game. Is that something that was I think that's more? true. I think that's true. I tried to be a little bit more aggressive for him, you know, to throw it down the field. And, and uh, 
I was uh, glad that he saw some of the things he saw and, made and executed the throw. Well, I mean, how much of that aggressiveness was play calling and how much of it was just the mindset of the players in this game? I think it was play calling. You know, I, I, I don't think I've, I've been a little conservative with him trying to guide him along, you know. And uh, I just said it's time to throw it, you know. You guys have forced nine or more turnovers twice this season. Have you ever seen anything like no, that? No, I've never. Years? I've never been a part it's of crazy. that. It's crazy. <laughs> I've never been a part of that. <laughs> that makes no sense. You can get Coach Mason to dial that up every week, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it seemed like Houston was starting to come back a little bit and would get some momentum, and then you know either the defense or the offense would score another point and kind of step on the throat, so to say. How nice was that to see out of this team? Well, I mean, yeah, you, you better have done it, or they're going to come back and win. Uh, I, I just like like you said. I mean, when it was forty five, whatever twenty eight. I mean, I'm thinking that you know you better score. Or you're gonna lose this game. You know. I mean, when you had that, that sorry. When you had that eight minute drive in the second in the fourth quarter, <laughs> was the time off the clock more important than points at that point? Um, well, I think it's, it uh, was a combination of both. But I'm, I'm glad we got the points because uh, you know to do that in that situation, you got to be able to do that to win a game. And, and uh, you know, I've been, you know, we're in a four wide receiver offense, so to take the ball and run it basically uh, is, is uh, says a lot about the kids. Uh, you know, it's, it's not easy to do. Uh, you see it every week with three tight ends trying to run the ball and finish games in the NFL. Mm -hmm. You've been a part of many games when you've run 34 less plays, gained 100. 80 yards less and one like this by 30 points? Yeah, no, I haven't gone far <laughs> uh, We had, uh, I think, whatever, uh, last week, 45 plays probably more or 40 plays more or whatever it was and, and lost. So, you know, the, that time of possession and those number of plays is kind of a meaningless stat. Anything else, guys? Thanks for coming. Thank you, Coach.